Okay, welcome to, uh, let me shut the music off really quick. We are looking at more of this stupid front end problem that I'm having. And uh, I'm gonna show you where I'm at. I have a new diff mount. Let me flip the camera around. Okay, so here's the new diff mount I got from Lexus. This is the OEM part. And I'm not gonna do this right now, but I basically put this up next to this one and it's exactly the same. There's no difference. This is not a bent part right now. So that's not bent. I was thinking that was bent. I'm kind of thinking maybe this one could still be bent. And the only reason I still suspect that is because I still have this silly angle problem where that mount is higher. Anyways, I'm going crazy trying to figure this out. So let's get on the truck and I'm gonna show you what I've looked at so far. Okay, so we are gonna do a few things and uh, we're gonna look at the angle of the cross members. This one, this one, ooh, oh gosh, oh my gosh. Let me get my pointer so I can actually point properly. There's three cross members. The rear one for the rear LCA part of the arm, the front one for the front LCA part of the arm, and the steering, and then this one, which is for the radiator support. So these should all be pretty straight, and uh, the way that we're gonna check it is with this digital inclinometer. All right, so. Pretty much gonna find the flattest spot. This is also actually off my bumper, which is, you know, pretty straight, strong steel bumper. So we got 1.4 degrees, this middle one up on the edge, one degree, so only half degree difference. That's pretty good. And this guy, half a degree. So one degree off from there to there, half a degree off. So I would say that these cross members are pretty straight. These are the front two diff mounts, and that's the rear diff mount. So if this was tweaked, right, then um, then we would have an issue, but they're not tweaked, so we're good. Next thing I'm gonna look at is I'm gonna inspect the actual frame, because uh, there's a couple things that I want you guys to see. Flip the camera around, flip it. Now we're looking at the actual mounting surfaces on the frame, so this is, uh, the passenger diff mount, and this is the driver. You can kind of see the bulge of this right here is bulging down. And over here on the driver's side, this is very, very flat. It's super flat. There's no bulging. So I'm wondering what's up with this. Like, is this normal? Do you guys see this bulging on your cross member? Like it's pulling through kind of thing. I am back to, I checked the frame. The frame seems good. I checked the diff or the mounts on the frame. The mounts seem good for the most part. I'm questioning that front passenger side, but I don't think it's tweaked enough to give me the angle and the problems that I'm seeing. So if the frame's good and the mounts are good, then I'm going back to the diff. <laughs> look at this hair, crazy. And look at that. I'm just, I'm still concerned that this, the difference between these two is the problem. So I know that this is good per OEM. I'm gonna try and replace this guy. And then the only other thing I can think of is if somehow this extension housing is bent as well. If the mounts on this, but this whole, cra the, if this whole thing is bent, that would be absolutely crazy. I've never seen that. I think someone said on their third gen that it was bent, but uh, that would be just absolutely bonkers. Um, so I don't know, I guess I could buy a diff as well, but I'm just kind of, I don't know, it's taking longer than I want. <laughs> but anyways, thank you guys for tuning in. If you guys see any, something or have any other ideas, let me know because uh, I'm getting a little frustrated trying to figure this out. And um, I just wanna get back to driving it because I don't really trust it because it's just gonna keep breaking axles. So anyways, thanks for tuning in. Two Track Nation Garage, Hunter is not here today. Just kidding. Wow, I'm Look here. who's here. Uh, yeah, so anyways, we're gonna give a teaser. Look at all these stickers, first of all. I just had an ADD moment. What are these stickers for? Belts. What belts. kind of belts? Concealed carry belts that we don't talk about on 2Track because we're just an off-road channel and YouTube doesn't agree with our terms and conditions. Can you show me a belt? Uh, yeah. Look at that. If you wanna know more about it, go to hunterconstantine.com. Anyways, com. back to this, uh, and I'm going to put some engine mounts. Oh, Hunter's, oh, he's gonna do the work. I don't want to do the work. Here you go, can you put this in there? Money. Oh, yes. Uh, one more, sir. Okay. 
Excellent. All right. mounts are done, just like that. <laughs> yeah, we never said where we were going to put them. <laughs> so, anyways, uh, we're going to hopefully do that uh, for the next vlog, so stay tuned if you want to know how to put engine mounts in. We're going to get wrenched up. We're going to uh -huh. use our croissant wrenches.